everybody, and welcome back to the next in our Stump the Scientist series. I'm here again with Jim Bray. Today's question comes from Jason Burdorf, and he asks us, why is static electricity more noticeable in cold weather? So Jim, can you help us out with that one? I'll give it a shot, Kate. All right, thanks. The question is, why is static electricity more noticeable in cold weather? First of all, remember that electricity is the movement or flow of charged particles. We usually mean that electrons, which are negatively charged particles, are moving, but also positively charged ions qualify as electricity as well if they're moving. Now, usually in most matter, the electrons and the ions are attached together so that they balance each other. We've got as many positive and negative charges next to each other and as one as there are the other, and so we have a neutral situation. We don't see any electricity in that situation. But some common acts that we can do, like friction, can actually remove some electrons from the atoms in a material and put them in another place, and now we have a difference in charge from what we would usually have in the so-called ground state where everything is closely attached together. For instance, the friction of walking across a floor might remove some electrons from our bodies and with respect to the carpet and if we touch a doorknob or another person you might feel a small shock as the electrons and the ions rearrange themselves. That's static electricity and so friction is one thing that can remove electrons from an object and create static electricity. I can show you another example that people often use if I take just a common piece of paper and take a common comb, plastic rubber, rub it through my hair and bring it near the piece of paper, the piece of paper jumps to the comb. That's static electricity. I've charged the comb with respect to my body where the paper was lying and so the two charges, positive and negative charges, attracted. Static electricity in action. This is very small effect. I wouldn't feel a shock from that. If I wait long enough, that piece of paper will fall off the comb because eventually things always go back to their ground state, to their neutral state. So eventually that will happen. It might take quite a while. And getting to the particular question that we have today, namely, why do we notice static electricity more when it's dry or in the winter? The reason is water in the air. It turns out that water helps charges rearrange back to their original state. And so if the air is moist, as it is in the summer, then we would expect this piece of paper to fall off that comb much sooner. And indeed, that's the case. In the winter, where we are right now, the air is very dry in this room, and so this piece of paper is going to say, well, I, there we go, it just finally fell off the comb. The charges have discharged. It would have been faster in a moist environment. So it's water in the air that determines how long the charges stay separated. The longer they stay separated, the more likely we are to notice static electricity from the separated charges, and that's why in a moist environment we notice static electricity less. In a dry environment, we notice it more. It stays around longer to be noticed. Well, Jim, thank you so much for that explanation and for giving us all a little demo that we could try at home. And hopefully, Jason, that helped answer your question. And thank you, everyone, for all the questions that were submitted, as always, to our Facebook page and for our Stump the Scientist series. We'll see you next time.